Hello everybody, this is the Bear here. We're back at Halloween Horror Nights because I have a ravenous hunger. Yeah, I get to watch Bear eat some snacks. Or some snacks? Some some sort of snacks. Something. She made me have to see the magnets this year. Oh. Yeah, that face is gonna be fun. Sure subscribe. You heard the bill. So here we are the classic pizza fry uh, with all the shade. I talked about how worthless this was last year. Uh, pizza fries, not really sold for me. I know this is uh, akin to insulting a Mickey pretzel or Mickey bar at Disney World. I thought pizza fries were absolute trash last year. And I could not understand the community's fascination, specifically the universal community's fascination, with these fries. Uh, you get the same sausage as last year, pepperoni covered in cheese with the sauce at the bottom. Big hunk of sauce. As of last year, I'm not feeling like there's enough sauce on the bottom to cover the layers and layers of fries. But we're gonna give this a good old bear try. If one of these pepperonis will cooperate, possibly, maybe you. There we go. Don't judge me. Chucky e. Cheese meets Dairy Cream Fry. I think it tastes better than last year. But I still don't understand the community's obsession with this snack. Two and a half out of five pounds. I'm gonna eat it though. Mainly because I'm hungry. Here we have the black Philly cheesesteak. This is one of those items that obviously everybody gravitates to the Hollywood Horn Nights nice and dark like me. I really wish it was this dark. And the cheesesteak. Uh, tons of cheese, you have like a little mayo on top, curly fries. They're even nice enough to put a little stick through it so it actually holds together. How quaint. Now, I'm not a glutton for punishment, I don't want to die, so I did take magic pills. Uh, well, let's see if I can do some fitness holding in my mouth. Nice and deliciously cheesy, definitely a mouthful. Uh, plenty of the steak in there, you got the peppers, mushrooms, all it fits in for a normal cheesesteak. Uh, I would say an adequate sized bun. You definitely needed it to uh, sort of like toothpick through it because it started to fall apart almost instantly when biting into it. So clearly they tested that first. Black bun doesn't really taste like anything different than a normal bun, it's just black. Give it three and a half out of five bucks. If you like Average cheesesteaks, you're probably not going to complain. And you choose sick purists, you're probably going to hate it. But you guys hate everything, so even yourself sometimes. As for these curly freaks, look at that curl. Look at that curl. There's no fry test for a curly freak, it just doesn't work. These are nice and crisp looking. Mmm. That is a kind of Curly fry that would give Arby's a run for its money. Four and five bucks. Here we have the Let's Play Beignet. A delicious looking stuffed I'm gonna say this, it, it looks weird. We're not gonna lie, okay? It's a beignet stuffed with pimento cheese, this uh, like raspberry sauce. It, it's, it's a lot of cheese, I wasn't expecting that. And then beignet. Well, I was looking to be stuffed. This is more like growing life. 
But you know, we can't refuse a beignet here on this channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right in. I don't know if I should pick, I'm gonna pick it up. Cause it's fork, it's not gonna work. It's like a, it's like a getaway boat or a skate boat. What do you call those things? A dinghy? A dinghy. It is a dinghy. One of those things that weren't enough of on the Titanic. A buoy? A lifeboat? Lifeboat. There we go. It does a dinghy. Bitch, if you said a door, I was going to fight you. I'm just saying, only one could fit on that door. It's a door. I mean, I bet Leo could fit on here. <laughs> You're not wrong. He couldn't fit. He couldn't fit. There's plenty of room. Like, she could have laid here. No. Leo could have laid there. No. You're people. People float. Yeah. Either way. No. <laughs> We're not it. This is a spice that should have been in the chili. This is like a six and a half. Seven out of ten on the spice scale. And even though I doubted it, they're basically using the beignet as a bun for the Nashville hot chicken and pimento cheese. Think of a like Nashville hot chicken sandwich, but the sandwich is a beignet. So the same sort of like idea as like the burger that they have. It's like sweet and spicy with a nice crunch of the chicken. I actually kind of like this. I'm glad I saved the magic pills for this. Four and a half out of five claws. I don't know why it works, but it kind of does. It just wants to be your friend. Friend to the end. Like a good guy? So in the category of things I did not want to eat at Halloween Horror Nights, but I'm sure you guys are going to ask about it, so it's one of the things I got is a uh, maggot covered cheese dog. Now your maggots are puff rice covered in goku jang, sesame seeds, fried Korean style, and there's cheese in there somewhere. Let's hope that does it, they do it better than Universal Hollywood did. It doesn't look like maggots. I'm not lie. When it comes to themed food, they're definitely doing it right. I mean, Goju Jane works. I like to make it taste kind of well. I don't really taste cheese, though. I'm not sure where they're getting the cheese from. Oh. Is it just these? Oh yeah. Now it's just cheese stuff. With no dog. It's interesting. If you ever wanted to look like you're eating maggots, it's supposed to work. Three out of five parts. It's not terrible. I'm gonna eat a corn dog. Might as well be this one. How does it compare to Hollywood? Hmm. Much better than Hollywood. By far. It's like cheese dog cheese. Very weird. It'd be better with a mix. Here we have the uh, fried chicken oval. Uh, this has got some sesame seeds and green onion. It's like some peanuts on top. It's like crispy fried chicken like coated in sauce. We'll see if that crisp holds up. They're nice thick chunks. Pork ain't coming off. Mm. Now if you watched our vegan video, 
The princess is like the uh, Gucci Jen cauliflower. This is basically the same thing but with chicken. So, honestly, I'm saying whether it be chicken or cauliflower, the flavors are the same. And the difference really is the chewiness and what you care about as far as uh, the main course. I'm telling you, chicken cauliflower, the flavor just is banging either way. It's four and a half out of five plus. Spice, I'm still sitting somewhere at three out of ten spots. Three out of ten on the spice scale, but I'm sticking with my four and a half plus rating. Of course you guys know we can come here and not get the angry spoiled bear meat. Unfortunately it is not vegan, it's vegetarian. But it is uh, savory flaming hot Cheetos, wet cheddar and marshmallow. It's like the weirdest combination of things that I've ever seen. I love that it comes sealed, like sort of like a, a deli meat package. So hot Cheetos and marshmallow, definitely not on my list for things I thought I'd try this year. Oh. But if someone's gonna eat angry bear meat, why can't I eat my own people? That's very weird. Oh, it's like a standard hot keto with the marshmallow covering on the outside. Is it cheddar? Highly enough, it tastes fine. But the uh, marshmallow and the cheddar can really take the heat out of the hot keto. And it ends up just being like very mushy. There's no crunch. It's almost more like uh, spongy than it is like that Christmas of a hot Cheeto. The flavor's not bad. I think there's a skip though, because it's just a bunch of chewing. I have the flavor of gum. It's like, um, it's like striped gum. Flavor in the beginning, and once you start chewing, the flavor disappears. Two out of five plus. I really didn't think you guys were going to let me get away with not eating the ground princess meat. Now apparently princesses are made out of ground rice crispy tree in a raspberry flavor. They're expensive too. Ten dollars and thirty-one cents. Two dollars per pound for a princess. You overpay. I'm kidding. They're priceless. Now, in exchange for the the blood, it's basically just raspberry everywhere. So it's gonna be very sticky. I didn't get a fork, so I'm going to make do bear style with what I got and just use the wrapper. It is basically falling apart. It's already like a Rice Krispie cake. I don't know if I mentioned that I hate Rice Krispie Treats. Like a lot. I would sooner eat chocolate bugs than willingly eat a Rice Krispie Treat. This is all your influence. But objectively, removing my absolute disdain for everything Rice Krispie, it is a Rice Krispie Treat. It tastes like sort of like that Rice Krispie marshmallow flavor and it's got a hint of raspberry, not over the top. It's very well themed. It's not awful. I just hate every morsel of it. Two and a half out of five plus. bun and it's definitely a little boo. Uh, nothing wrong with size. This is about what I was expecting. You don't really see buns too much of a goodness. You do get them slightly bigger but 
Uh, this one's vegetarian, but I thought I'd give it a try. I think this would be the winning dish over the pizza skull. Everybody's going with the pizza skull. I feel the little goo bun is going under the radar. So this is what I went with. Let me drop the little thing. I definitely feel like our friends, Foolish Morgan, would absolutely love this. It is like a just a spicy pumpkin filling. A lot more seasoning, I think. Uh, the heat is creeping up on like a three out of ten on the spice scale. It's not gonna like bring you to tears, but it's enough to give the flavor a little punch. As a nice light snack with a drink, I think this is the way to go. Maybe it three and a half out of five claws. Here we had the um, rat tail, the fried rat tail. So it's basically just fries with a crab dip. I don't know how you got rat from that. Obviously, crab dip usually has cream cheese in it. I'm gonna take the smallest of bite. I did also take two magic pills just to be safe. Because uh, me and cream cheese do not work, but who's going to turn down a chance to eat rat, right? Strong crab taste. Definitely has a nice sprinkle of Old Bay on it. Crispy fries. You like crab dip? It's not bad. It would kill me trying to eat it. But crab dip on fries, I have no problem with. Three and a half out of five cups. I don't know what this is the festival of more. The festival of the black bun or it's the festival of the bun. Now we have a turkey butternut squash bun, supposedly spicy. You know how I feel about things that say spicy in the name. It's definitely more uh, bun than filling. Uh, compared to some of the other things we've had that have been stuffed full, this is a bit lacking. It is technically spicy. I give it maybe three out of ten on the spice scale. The flavor is good. I just wish there was more filling. Unless it's black bread. Universal. Black bread is not working. Three out of five plus. Thank you. And then, do you want regular or chili? Now I know that I hate on fair food. I can't bring myself to actually hate on deep fried Oreo. Deep fried Oreo, I think, is more American than funnel cake. I'm sure nobody will agree with me. But that's the hill that I've chosen to scream on this year. A nice uh, coloration thing. You like some red and green food dye in there, along with the powdered sugar. Uh, the batter isn't like covered all the way around, but the effect is still there. It's still a deep fried Oreo. I do hate powdered sugar though. It just gets everywhere. It's not that great. It's so annoying. I'm not sure the method by which they fry these. You can see like the Oreo Indians are basically gone. It's just Oreo cookie. You need probably the center is like it's like just decimated. It's like completely gone. That's an illegal ratio. It is. But I'm still getting deep fried oil from it. That oil cookie taste is hard to cover up. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the vegan PB and J better though. Give it three out of five blocks. So three Oreos in. I was willing to chalk it up to a fluke out of the first one, but they have all been like filling this disasters. Uh, I'm gonna take my rating from a three down to two and a half. It still tastes like a fried Oreo, but without the filling, it's really an Oreo. Yeah, because then they have to carry that around, and then they have to add a lot. So while we're in the middle of filming all of this, you guys requested that we get an arepa because apparently nobody else has been eating the arepas. I don't really understand why. Uh, I almost got the mozzarella rape for you vegetarians out there, but the carnitas sounded good. So I got that instead. So you get a single carnitas arepas. Now last year, I believe they were topped 
So that was Disney. Topped it with the with the carnitas this year. Then Universal is going the stuffed route. So it's like an arepas taco almost. It's got cheetah cheese, the sauce on top, and a huge helping of pork with a little bit of um, greens in there. I never once in the history of this channel complained about there being too much meat on something. Even if that's what she said. That was a huge, there's almost more carnitas in here than there is a right though. Like it is absolutely stuff. No pockets of like in this, not lightly stuff, like literally bulging up the sides. I know somebody's helping some aren't getting smaller. Solid four out of five plus. Somebody's representing the culture right. <laughs> Here we have the witch's brew cauldron stew, uh, which is supposed to come with like a chicken or chicken stew with chili verde in it, and then like a cornbread skeleton. It looks like my skeleton had an accident, like missing half his torso. Like I feel bad for me, mostly for him. There's not a good representation of the skeleton. Which is this poor guy in the afterlife? Let's get a spoonful of this stew. Nice and thick. It's actually not blazing hot outside tonight, so probably won't hate it this much. You got some beans, corn, some nice pieces of chicken in here with the crema. Very hot though. Mm -hmm. It feels more like a bean stew with chicken. It's definitely like that verde sauce. I think it's a nice mix. Let's try with a little bit of the cornbread though. Poor skeleton guy. There we go. It's very interesting. I wish the verde had a slight kick to it. Sure, chicken's up a notch. I taste the meat, I taste the chicken. But I'm not getting stew out of it. I'm getting like chicken bean and salsa. For the cream though. Cornbread skeleton is great. I just there was more of him. As it is, give it a three out of five plus. I'm embarrassed to say that I don't have a whole lot of experience with tamales. I can probably count the number of times I've had tamales on both hands uh, because as a child, especially growing up, it wasn't something I had a lot of interaction with or availability to. Uh, so I'm not really like, I don't really have a feeling on them one way or the other. So I should look it up, sadly enough, because I don't know if you're supposed to eat the husk or not. Clearly I know now that you're not supposed to. You can unwrap it, or you can just try to eat it. It's already falling apart, so I'm just going to try to eat it out of the wrapper with this here handy, reusable spork. You're welcome, vegan. Mm. Get a, a nice dig in there. That's rolled corn, you got some pork. Red mole sauce and cheetah cheese. Cheers. Ooh. Like that. I didn't really know what to expect. It feels like a corn cake. The meat in it. I think honestly though. I wish that they had put more sauce inside the wrapper. A lot of the cheese and sauce gets lost in the wrapper, so you're missing the flavors once you start to get down the tamale, but even being an experience with tamales, I'm on board to try more of these. We're gonna have it at five blocks. disgusted the princess more. Some of the fake animals being carved up in the houses or me eating food here all in our night. I gotta say some of his food stank really bad and after we filmed it I had to be like your food stinks. I don't think she liked the crab beignet. 
Or the rat tail. Or the bow. Or the bow. It's or stank. the arepa. It stank. It's it it a lot. A lot of things she didn't like. I like a lot of things, but I want to know what you guys like. Let me know what your favorite dish I tried. If there's anything that we didn't try. Oh wait, 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 wait. I did actually try. One of you requested the mac and cheese. It went twice. Oh right. They were out. They've been out of food. Ran out of food all day. We did I try did a try. few times. Surprisingly, that mac and cheese stand is really freaking busy. Maybe I that's didn't why people that. didn't review it. I don't know. But. Maybe on one of our successive trips in one of our vlogs or something. We'll try. I'll give that We're a try. We're going to keep trying. We just went like five days. We couldn't do any of the five days, so. But if there's anything else you'd like to see us do, by all means, the comments are going to be a place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos by this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We'll see you soon. Subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear is going to go die. Bye. You heard the girl. <laughs>